I almost gave up, you guys. I did. I almost forgot. I was about to come in here and just knock it out. I said, I'm gonna go to bed. But now I gotta wash my clothes and do my hair. Right? I got shit to do. But now I'm an adult. And I hate it here. I wanna go home. Yeah. Alright, Scorpio. Let's see what you bought here, son of a gun. It's got going on. Ooh, Jesus. We got repairing the mind and the body and spirit. You got a metox going on. I had one of those yesterday. Took me a bubble bath. Alright, I'm stuck playing. I think I need to just take this motherfucker. I'm not moving. Okay, let me ask you. Okay, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, all right. Let's see what is coming. These y'all December reading, sweetie, so you better make them last. Make them last forever. Forever. Because I don't think I'm doing the, um, I don't think I'm going to do it like that every day. I don't think I'm gonna do them like that every day though. I think I might just do uh I think I might just do like a bit for the element of what's going on though. Uh before it's dead until like the new year come around. I was like, so that's dead. Y'all was just blocking my shit. So, Alright, let's go. Cause we're one minute in and trying to keep my time. Great. All right. Oh, lost in space, needed some form of direction. And we also got a metox sentence right down in the middle. God damn. Y'all got too many cards, so we're going to get into it. Y'all got uh, lost compass, getting back to integrity, repairing the mind, body, and spirit, jewel, well, connectivity, stars in the sky, in the hand of the uh, the in, the universe is your partner and refusal of the call. Baby, follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. Come get me. Come get me if this is you or some shit about to take off in your life. Please come get me. No, like seriously, getting back to integrity. Some of y'all, this could be opening in a pathway for some of y'all. I do kind of feel like there is a time period and point where you could have lost who you were. I do kind of feel like there could be a shadow work coming up. It wouldn't be normal if y'all wouldn't get it. You also got a me talk going on. So that could be at the point of where some of y'all could be dealing with attachments, people, social circles, or anything that's going on. This is the best time to necessarily pull back who is bringing you down and pulling you up, especially when it comes to stars in the sky, limited possibilities. I do kind of feel like this is the time to meditate and clear the mind, especially if you're looking for some type of assistance, happiness, freedom, clarification about anything, right? Hit my singing bell as soon as I get finished with y'all. Um, That's it. Shit, you got refusal of the call. You got dream fever. Now, I be weary because you got... This could be people certain connected to you, or you could be dealing with certain ideas or whatever it is. So keep that shit on a hush hush, especially with connectivity and dream thief. It could be somebody trying to steal ideas or whatever it is from you. So make sure you uh figure that out. I do kind of feel like this could be partnerships, anything that come down to associations and connections and stuff like that. Because it just feels a little dark. I'll tell you that. Give me a little bit of spider, a little spider wheel. It could be some over money. Because I said, if this is your season where you're going to take off, give me some money. Or it could just be magic, right? Could just be general magic, though. Because the girls has been out here making a moak. Yep, because we got three of cups, nine of cups, and then we also got the match. Yep, yep, yep. So, ugh, all right. Come on now, give me that. Ooh, come on now, Scorpio. Y'all straight to the point. Everybody else had all them slap dab cards. I said, Jesus, don't need that at all. Y'all just come straight on now. Tell me what you need to say. I think y'all, Gemini, y'all just be straight to the point. It's just be like, yes. What we do, we be like, y'all tell me what y'all need. All right? Ooh, then I say that. Don't let your own potential hold you back. All right, let me hear you. Yep, I did say that, though. Y'all gonna have to disassociate from a couple people. You got page of swords, though. Two of swords. I tell you, there could be some, though. That's that emotional confusion when it comes down to a lot of shit. We also got the page of cups. We also got the chariot. This could be a particular person where they playing a whole lot of mind games and stuff like that. Or this could be someone that keep you confused. I tell you that. 
uh, whether it's coming in with creative offers or certain things or somebody trying to push something, you could be dealing with a uh, certain individual that could, it could be tilted to relationships. It could be somebody going through a breakup. They like to play a whole lot of mind games equally as well. So it could be a little stalking going on. Or when I said it comes down to creativity and you want to push certain ideas, making sure you keep it to yourself, reading certain contracts and certain negotiations, because that's how there's a lot of people who are playing a lot of mind games and feel like we in Gemini season. Now, the first card out, we got Lost Compass getting back to integrity. We got Ten of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands, and then we got Three of Pentacles in reverse. Everything's going to shit. I do feel like uh, a lot of things are coming at you fast over the Three of Pentacles, so make sure you ground yourself in this financial management, making sure you're looking at certain things. Uh, with Ten of Pentacles being in the place, there could be work drama, this could be family drama, there's a lot that's coming up to the forefront, and I feel like everything's just coming at you fast. And, um, everything coming at you fast, so I will tell you that, though. If it's loss in finances, I do kind of feel like this is the time where it's best to repair um, if there's certain things where you feel like you're out of alignment, let it go. I told you that's where you got that detox coming up, though. Whether this is drinking, I need to make me some tea. Whether this is drinking tea, whether this is uh, elixirs, whatever it is that you take. Some of y'all, it is time to flush, 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 flush. Libras just had that, too. Libras had where they need to drink water. Y'all need to flush. Flush, 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 flush. I don't know what that is. What does it mean? You flush, flush it out, let it go, and what don't work. Now, with the Metox, you got hair front, four wands, and the moon, and an ace of wands. Now, this is getting back in order for some of y'all, though. I did say to somebody that's talking to you, and I said they could be in a relationship trying to give you some type of offer, and they very confused, and they could become more confused equally as well. They talk out of turn too much, though, so there could be a turnout for some of y'all equally as well, though, because this person, they say shit that could be emotionally confusing, and they play a whole lot of mind games equally as well. So it's kind of like, if they want to be with you, they want to be with you, but they a page, baby. So I did say falling in love and establish some type of relationship is a page when it comes down to communication and connectivity they play too many games they double-minded it could be a divided loyalty equally as well though so it's like get your shit together or you need to get your shit together and just say goodbye good night i don't want to deal with this because i do kind of feel like this could be marital problems for some of y'all though i do kind of feel like this is a need to uh decompress i do feel like um if it's relocating this is some of y'all though i do kind of feel like if there's a breakup though this could be some of y'all moving and then like i said with attachments whatever trauma bonds you got going on in your life this could be someone that equally fears moving or you moving on or going what it is or this could be a emotional engagements and stuff like that for some of y'all when it comes to me talks mind body and spirit i do kind of feel like uh this could be our sex life equally as well equally as well especially for those of y'all so y'all could be like in leo season where i said that heightened sex drive with certain things coming back up equally um but there is a little bit of fears i will tell you that so that's where you need to detox connect protect and keep it moving equally as well or you could be dealing with a my man all right now now let's get to this connectivity so we can see what's going on because we got the Eight of Cups in reverse. We got the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, with this Eight of Cups being in reverse, I do kind of feel like this is loss. I did say that, though, for some of y'all getting back to integrity, whether you're straddling both sides, whether this is uh, playing with magic, not with magic, or aspects, relationship, counsel, whatever it is that's going on, though. There's somebody that's lost and needing some form of direction. But I do kind of feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, I do feel like some of y'all at this point, you really just don't want to have some type of interaction with this personal situation because her head down... And I feel like some of y'all tired of talking to a person or it could be some type of disbelief, though, especially if they coming back around this double-minded person in certain situations. Now, this could be if it's contractual offers or certain things that necessarily hit the table. It's like, I'm over this shit, right? Because with the Eight of Pentacles, like, you could not be getting along with certain people or certain things in your life, though, because there is a boredom that's necessarily attached to it. It could be emotionally draining equally as well. I kind of feel like with the seahorse, you might be dealing with a needy man. Or there could be a woman that acts like a man, but uh, it, it's a needy man, baby. Some of y'all dealing with a needy man. It could be emotionally draining. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? To each his own, and you could be feeling like you need a man. Now we got stars in the sky, limited possibilities. We got the fool being in reverse, the knight of swords. We got the judgment and the stock card. Didn't I say that, though? You're going to have to recognize that you can't work with certain people because if it's a part of your extension and you're trying to go wherever it is that you need to grow, it's always going <laughs> to... Girl, if you want some type of relationship, because this read night for me, damn. I'm trying to see what the fuck going to come up for me. If you want a relationship, another read related for me. If you're in a relationship, you're dealing with a person, I do kind of feel like y'all got some type of naivety going on where you're not paying attention to certain shit or this is that person's behavior. I feel like there's a person who likes to play with your feelings a lot. Like when it comes down to emotional concepts, like they, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. No, 
No, you knew what you was doing, whether it come down to communication or even with their actions. Because I do kind of feel like if you're trying to grow up or glow up, this is somebody that's constantly trying to pull you down. Like, they want time to where you sit around and you talk to them. Like, tell me your dreams, tell me your goals. And it could be in a way where they self-sabotage or help you sabotage them equally as well. Because it's majority equally about them. So I feel like y'all needing some type of help equally as well, though. Because they always want you to turn a blind eye to their actions. And, um to the actions of certain things that they do because hell you could even be the knight of swords to where you you could be just like fuck out of here like being mean and rude and cruel towards these particular behaviors or it's just a person i'm saying like they be you you try to turn a blind eye to this but there's no way you can turn a blind eye to this though because you got the stars in the sky and you're really trying to like meditate ask for answers call certain shit in and connect and ground yourself or you trying to like bring in things to you or be in some state of peace but it's hard to have some state of peace when you're dealing with a particular person where they know like it's difficult when you're trying to call certain things in your life to manage and you got somebody else that's reckless as fuck so that's why i said mm -mm. like child no ma'am because it seems like they coming right back equally as well so whatever attachment that you got with them magically or something like that cut they motherfucking ass off please now we got the universes in your hand you got the magician you got the knight of wands and you also have the devil in reverse the problem is though if you're trying to manifest and cause certain things in this this knight of wands as soon as it come in it goes equally as fast and this could be somebody that uh could be a little jealousy going on equally as well because if you're able to do certain things by yourself or conjure, call things is, it's somebody, some person where it deals with some form of detachment and it's causing some type of problem. It really is. Like if you're trying to coexist, co-create, it's always like it's this um, competition. It is though. It's this competition. It's a it's a little competition going on right here. It equally is though, because some of y'all this is to support. Because I'm saying y'all able to call in. Hey, it could be somebody that's jealous of you got a friend with somebody. Like it's it's really petty. Yep, somebody mad that you connected with somebody. It's really petty because you got like the will of fortune and the seven of pentacles. They don't like this. And I really don't like this equally as well, though, because I told you the universe in your hand. You got good luck. Uh, a star is coming in. Uh, it's a show off. Because I'm telling you, it's certain shit that's coming to fruition. Whether you've been waiting on certain shit. Or this could be somebody to say that where they could be using magic to be like, yeah, this is my chance to go ahead and do this shit to them. And woo, 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 woo. Like, it's like a flex. But I feel like some of y'all not studying their ass equally as well. Like, I feel like, yep. Because you ain't studying them. Because you got tempers in reverse, the high priests in the world card. And this person sitting over here holding a grudge, mad. Uh, not forgiving and relentless and stuff like that. Because it's like they're going to have to see you. and somebody could be at odds, though. I tell you that. You and somebody could be at odds with each other. I tell you that. Because of their behavior. It really is. So you're trying to call shit in. I'm telling you, this is somebody that's constantly trying to block some type of shit. And I, and I don't know what it is, though, because it's weird because it's petty. Because it's like if you friends with somebody, somebody mad that you friends with somebody. What type of shit is that? Yeah, not in the third grade no more. We ain't, we ain't in high school. What type of shit is this? Yeah, not in high school because you got nine of wands, you got seven of swords, and you also got the moon card. That's why I said we ain't in no damn high school no more. Because this is how they get you back in, though. When shit start flourishing in your life, this is when they pop back up and they always want something. They really do. Like, it's, it's it's a state of where they always getting caught up in shit. Like, they do certain shit. You could be dealing with a particular person or something or someone to where, like, they move too rash. Because it doesn't have to be jealousy. The Knight of Wands could be an arrogant motherfucker. They talk before, they talk before, uh, they, they talk before actions is set into place. Or it could be actions moving too soon. And then it's kind of like, well, damn, why you just didn't wait on me? So it's always this misalignment with the situation because there's a lot, but this is how they always pop back around. I really do feel like this. Some of y'all could be at a point where you're like, okay, we're going to hug it out. We're going to go ahead and move forward. But I feel like with the Seven of Swords, y'all just, um, you really can't get right. You really can't get right because somebody is defensive against them. It really is because you also got the uh, the moon card. Like It really is because I saw you like, look at this. You got, not the moon, this is good luck. This is like omens. This is good energy, especially when it comes down to an ox. That's like a good burst of energy. But you also got the seven of swords. So that's why I say it's something in between this. That's why I say it, it really is. Though. So that's why I say it could be some bad blood or whatever. But I tell you something. Like right when you on your look, please don't be in that Virgo energy. You know, y'all be acting just like a Virgo sometimes. Me to me, when you always want to help and save every goddamn body. Nope. 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 
Now, here's the motherfucker that be playing a whole lot of games. Because I saw you there in the three of cups. And they got an ace of cups. It's going to put you in the four of cups. And they're going to put you in the two of cups. And you're going to have no damn cup. Alright? Now, you got the four of pentacles. Somebody like whatever it is, is theirs. And they're willing to fight for it, too. So, I'll be weary so you won't get into uh, verbal spars or certain... Uh, certain um, can miscommunications and certain things that could be going on because this could be somebody if it's a relationship though they missed out on the chance that they had with you and now they're trying to come in and start some fight or altercation or they could be conflicted about something though be weary not to get into other people's problems and stuff like that though like i said do not be acting like a virgo where you trying to um when it comes to relationship problems, don't make them your own because I do kind of feel like there's miscommunication arguments equally as well. I did say this. Somebody's still holding on to something, so I do feel like if there's any type of forgiveness that is coming up or be able to move forward, I do feel like that emotional reserve when it comes to your body, mind, and spirit, whatever it is, like you know. Or it could just be like emotional patterning or body behavior patterning. But I feel like this is a power play equally as well. So that's why I said, I don't know. Like, this is somebody that's holding on to something. I tell you, somebody trying to hold somebody back. If this is friends or something, like, oh, man, you left me out. Why you did this, man? It's like, that ain't got shit to do with me. Like, it has nothing to do with me. So that's why I said, I don't know how you're going to take that. Because it feels very, yeah. Because we got Queen of Wands and the Eight of Swords. I said that, though. Like, I said that. So, I don't know. Because it's like it's looking for clarity in a situation to where the poof and the pudding. Like, does that make sense? Like, you got cups, wands, and pinnacles. The proof is in the pudding. It really is. So, what more do you need? Right? Like, what more do you need? Um, Yep. Yeah. Then I said, look at Virgo. I said that. I said, don't act like a Virgo. And look at Virgo coming right here. Virgo just sneaked up on me. And like, yep, here I go. Like, that's what I said. Don't be like a Virgo, sweetie. Um, That's basically it. Because somebody's withholding a whole lot. I'm telling you, it is. It could be down to communication. Hell, this could be money. I was to give you my damn money. And then we got, I'm telling you, like, there's an argument or fight amongst a group of friends or people, and there's going to be some type of fallout. Because I tell you, there's someone who likes a whole lot of attention, and they're very jealous hearted. And I tell you, this is not a good energy. They're very catty. And especially with Queen of Wands and the Page of Swords, this could be smear campaigns or gossips. This is somebody, I tell you, that speaks too soon and it turns around and they like to do a whole lot of shit. And it could be over a man. And I really don't like this equally as well because if it's a relationship, Relationship. Both of them fucking toxic as fuck. You got the king of wands and the queen of wands. These motherfuckers is toxic as hell. And I don't know because she's stuck. He not. He got fear of moving. She's stuck in the relationship, but he not. This nigga scared, but he want to make a move. So it's weird. That's why I said this might not be your problem. You just might be caught up in somebody else's thing. So it's like she's stuck in a relationship feeling like she bound. Why I got to get this up? And woo, woo, woo. No, we supposed to do this. And then when it comes to the other side, he like, I'm scared, but I want to go ahead and make this move, though. Equally as well. So that's why I said, if it's got anything to do with spirituality, make sure you do your detox, your detox, your cleansing, your protection, your shielding, and everything else coming up. Because I told you, these are a lot of cards, but some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who using the arts to check in on you, see what you're doing, uh, trying to spy and all that other stuff, telepathic communication and everything else, though. And that's why y'all be like, well, I think we're supposed to be together. And whoa, 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 no the fuck you're not. They want to be with you. They need to get their ass out and court you the right way. Some of y'all don't like that, but I like it, though. Take me out. Tim, you like me. Let's go up. Let's see each other face to face. It was nice talking to you for these 30 minutes. Shut up, right? Well, you can talk for hell, but I'm just here. As long as you don't repeat yourself over and over and over again, we good. So that's why I said it's dead. But some of y'all dealing with it, though. I'm saying, like, it's weird. Like, y'all got some weird-ass energy going on. Somebody mad because you friends with somebody. You cool with somebody else, or um, y'all can get on the same page. If it's like adding a new friend or somebody to your social circle, you could be getting caught up in a little beef or something like that. And it's like, how the hell I get caught up in this shit? So it feels a lot like that. And then if it's spiritual uh, things, like I said, just don't get caught up in other people's shit. Do not just pull back. Even if you ain't a Scorpio, you got Scorpio plate. Be over here watching it. Don't get caught up. And other people shit, leave that red brunch your ass eggs alone and move forward. Don't go back for that damn sex. Leave. This is your chance. Leave. There's another nigga out there that will learn your body. Or want me. That's nasty. Let's have faith. All right. Let's have faith. They come. 
Just stop leading with your cooch. That's it. Damn. This is not made for kids. I'll make sure I select it. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, I got eight views on a video. Shout out to me. Growth, right? Yeah, because we got house. Yeah. History. Loss. Solitude. And love. And news. That's why I said some of y'all, this you want to let it go. Some of y'all really want to let this go. I tell you, there's a lot of fears around relationship and commitments and stuff like that. I do kind of feel like this could be someone or something, though. I feel like some of y'all are losing this. This could be foundation and actual support that's coming up into your life. And some of y'all just want time away. I do kind of feel like this could be moving. I do kind of feel like with that foundations that's coming up, this could just be repetitive things, especially with those trauma bonds y'all make. I do kind of feel like this is a person who's moving or losing their home or lost someone to something. I don't know. Whether well, it could be to drug, to addiction, or this is just a death to your old self to be able to move forward or how you love but i do kind of feel like there's some type of anxieties because some of y'all could be struggling whether it's moving in with the person or someone this does not feel like my energy i told you i stopped channeling on that goddamn offer uh somebody is a little fear-based moving in with someone so that's why i said some of y'all make a little fear if you're in a relationship and you're trying to coexist with somebody you kind of like you don't know so it's like you may be at the point where i gotta give up my house no you give up your house and somebody like well i got more space than you and you like i ain't gonna get mine up so it feels like that is just going around well, i gotta live with you well, i don't know and woo, woo, woo. it's like all the other stuff that's just going around instead of just it's semantics it's semantics somebody doing a self-sabotaging thing it equally as well so somebody's very self-sabotaging then one of y'all got a crazy ass ex so shout out to y'all because that shit is crazy. I'm so glad I'm not in them situations no more. But you're going to get through it. That's all I got to say.